It feels so unfair, Amy, just like any disease or accident that takes a young person's life, and we're in the middle of an epidemic. You were such a happy baby, such a spirited little girl. Then like all kids, you started changing a lot in high school. You showed so much promise, and you were also in so much pain. I wish we'd all understood that better, me, your family and friends, the professionals trying to help us. When you started smoking marijuana at 15 and a half, you said, it's not going to be an addiction. But as my friend's son says, once you start smoking weed, you start lying to the people you love, and that sends you down the wrong path. Then you tried cocaine, then painkillers. I had no idea what a big red flag that was. Then finally, heroin. You were only five weeks into treatment when you snuck drugs in and overdosed. The facility did not have nasal Narcan. The ER worked on you for almost two hours and couldn't bring you back. We all really miss you, Amy. I feel cheated that you won't be around into my old age. 80% of addiction starts in the teen years. If a kid can make it to 21 without abusing alcohol or drugs, chances are they never will. You didn't quite make it to 21, but you wanted to make a difference and touch people's lives. I know you are rooting for every kid out there to abstain or delay use and to get help if they need it, and families too because addiction is a family disease. It doesn't care about the color of your eyes, where your parents did or didn't go to school, or how smart you think you are. It can happen in any family. I still can't believe it happened in ours.